Yo, what's going on with y'all? Scorpios, let's get to this Scorpio reading. Scorpio cross watchers, y'all are welcome to them. I know y'all here to investigate and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. What else? The website link is in the description box. I have things to offer. You'll find out what they are. Should you go there? Go ahead, go there. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm showing in the intro now. You know, if you want the deets, go to the website. Go to the website. Uh, it's gonna be a three card draw. I ain't gonna hold you long. Pause. And with that being said, let's get these cards read. Bars. Alright, this first card right here is relative to the situation at hand for the Scorpio energy. Six of Cups, y'all. Six of Cups. This card is representative of how you feel about the situation. It's the Queen of Cups. More Cups. More energy. More energy. <laughs> for real, though. More Cups. And this is the factor to consider regarding this all of this Scorpionic energy. The Lovers in Reverse. This card is, this is the famous card today. It's the third time today. The lover's card. And it's been reversed three times. Love is not the, in the air. Somebody is shooting back at Cupid. Let's just say that. Can we say that? Let's just say that. All right. Let me do my job. Mm-hmm. Okay. I look at it like this, right? This is this is you, Queen of Cups. But it's like this on the board, pardon me. You got your back turned to the lovers in reverse. The factor to consider is the lovers in reverse. Right? So that's that's basically saying, look. Regarding what I'm about to explain, the factor to consider is that there's trust issues potentially at hand. There's going to be a disharmony within the connection at hand, you know, and there's going to be some type of detachment because someone's not going to be able to hold up their end of the bargain or just merely take accountability for their actions. But you got your back turned to the factor to consider. So that's a factor to consider in itself. I want to start there, all right? Because that could mean two things. That could mean you're aware of it, but you're like, okay, I don't even give a fuck because we're not even going there. I'm not even letting disharmony or detachment or disconnect into my life because my focus and my goals, my focus is over here on how people are generous and how they give and how they... You know, they, they, they find an environment that suits them and it can be childlike and decisions are made from emotional intelligence and emotion. These are emotionally backed decisions. Or it could mean because you have your back turned on the factor to consider that you may slip up and make a connection in this environment. And you say, oh, it feels so childlike, so I want to go back to being a child again. I want to. And okay, this is what I'm getting. It's nothing wrong with being childlike, being creative, even going, turning yourself into being someone, the hero for the child, the hero that the child needed is you now. But it is you because you're the queen of cups. You're sitting in the, this is the queen of cups. This is where you, how you see it. So you are the hero that the child needed, that you needed. And not for nothing, other people in your environment and in your community where you grew up and stuff like that. I'm getting there's nothing wrong with that because that's what's on the chopping block. That's the matter at hand, right? But what I'm also feeling is this. What I'm also feeling is this. You have to also show these people that they must reach for their dreams. They have to go after their dreams. Everything else is uncivilized. And the more that they try to interject or interfere and bring this one into the fold, and hey, yeah, look, I found this one that we grew up with too. Like, yo, shouldn't we all just get together? And you're like, no, because I don't fuck with so-and-so like that no more. Oh, but I thought, you know, we in this whole 
you know, we knew each other from childhood. We're catching up in the but I, I, I'm catching the vibe with you. I'm not catching the vibe with them, and I'm not catching the vibe with them on the strength of you vouching for them. Like, I haven't seen them in 15 or 20 years. No, I, I don't want to catch up. I don't want to go to that meeting or that or that place because and I'm not saying I'm not saying that that comes out of a place of fear. I'm saying that comes out of sin, being sincere bars cuz I'm nice. Because I'm nice, B. But for real, you're just being sincere because it's something that you psych, you have a psychic ability here. All right? This is a Cancer and Pisces this is water. This is watered up. Cancer and Pisces, Cancer and Neptune to be exact. All right? Third eye chakra shit. So you're using occult knowledge. You're using being empathetic to make that decision. You see that whatever type of you see that whatever type of other person they try to bring into the fold or try to add on to that nurturing, potentially nurturing environment, you see into it deeper. You see that there's a disconnect there. You see that this is what's going to happen if they enter the fold. And not for nothing, the person that you are looking out for, right, emotionally, guiding, being sincere with, you, they risk losing themselves by trying to connect with everybody too. It's not like just because y'all all went to school together that all of y'all should still be together. Everybody can't go, B. Like, let's just be realistic. Everybody can't go. But that doesn't remove the childhood element and emotions that comes with being a child and having those memories when you were children. It's just, look, who qualifies for the dreams? This is as simple as I can put it, right? Who qualifies for the dreams, B? Because everybody not going to be happy for you. And you're going to be able to tell by how they detach, how, they, how there's a disconnect. Right, so this may also, the fact that to consider may also be a warning to you to also communicate to the, to the people that you nurture in your environment to say, look, there's trust issues at hand. There's trust issues when you're dealing with, with, with them people. There's going to be trust issues. There's going to be some type of conflict. There's going to be some type of imbalance. You may not be able to see it, but I can. This is not coming from fear. This is comes from me practicing the occult. I'll I'll draw some cards for you right now. I'll pull out I'll pull out my chart, today's chart, your chart. I'll I'll show. I know what I'm talking about, and I just won't allow it. So keep this in mind. All right. I did Scorpio readings be deep, man. I don't yeah. But I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there.